Hello, and welcome back to our CES Live All Things AI podcast. It's still January 9th, and we have um, the venerable Sean Hare, CEO of BrainShip. Hey, Sean, welcome. Hey, hey Nan, and great to be here. So apart from meeting in the office, I think this is a great place to meet. We both had a very interesting view of ongoings at CES, and it's just the beginning. Um, what got your attention? Well, when I walked the hall today, first of all, you could not see a single product or vendor that did not have AI behind its name or in front of its name. AI for pets, AI for pool cleaners, AI for home maintenance, everything. And so it just highlights that this technology is really the dawn of a next generation of change in our society. And so it's pretty hard not to be excited about the possibilities of where AI is going. I think that's well put. In fact, multiple guests uh, that we already had today talked about, well, the question is where, what products doesn't say AI? Pretty much every product seems to have it. But at the same time, we believe we're just scratching the surface and there's a lot to do and a lot of opportunity. Um, wh where do you see... Um, the transition. Are you seeing the transition that we keep talking about that more stuff is moving to the edge? You talked about pet monitors, you talked about um, um, pool cleaners, all kinds of things. So uh, where do you see the opportunity for uh, edge AI service providers and uh, companies like Brainchip that are serving that market? Yeah. So, so let me take the first question slash comment head on about the edge. You know, the edge is a funny term. But there's no question that AI is moving out of the data center to other things, whether you call it the edge or any of those devices you just mentioned. The ability to do inference outside the data center is definitely a trend. And of course, what we do at BrainChip, this is very exciting for us because the use cases are um, limitless in that case. So for the, that trend is absolutely real. Then you couple it with the kind of engagements that we are involved with currently. A couple of years ago, customers or prospects would be thinking, let me look at this and decide what I'm going to do with it. Now, when we talk to customers and prospects, whether it's here or outside of here, they come in and say, I'm looking for functionality in my end product. I have a project, I have a deadline, and I have a budget. And I need to work and decide on who's going to be my enabler for, for AI. So those are really different than a couple of short years ago, which is everybody's looking for that functionality outside the data center. And now they're making it real and making conscious efforts to do it. So super great, exciting time for BrainChip. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly great to see um, not just the concept of AI, but actual use cases crop up. And um, I think the the idea that more is moving on device closer to sensor comes from the fact that you have the capabilities and compute possible, as well as now people know how to, more people are educated on how to utilize it. Uh, what do you see as the challenges though that companies like BrainChip can help with? So what's very clear from customer conversations is while they're interested, very interested in deploying, they need to make sure they can do it in a very simple standard way. So they're looking for companies like us that have proven track records and tools and processes that makes it easy to do the integration work that they're looking for. That's key. If it's too hard, too complex, they'll move on. So it's a key part of our offering is to make sure what we offer is easy to integrate and easy to deploy. Great. And that isn't just hardware, correct? That is correct. So we need to actually think about it from a solution that is hardware, software, and tools that enable to get them to market. The easier to make it, the easier it is to deploy. Absolutely. And as you know, that is certainly something that we're working on very hard at BrainChip. Great. Any um, uh, expectations for the next day or so? Well, I know we have a very full schedule here, which is super exciting to me, which again, just speaks to, to the market and speaks to what we offer that market. So I have high expectations on those customer conversations. Great. Well, all the best, Sean. And yes, 
along with you, I'm looking forward to the next few days and how this progresses. Let's have some fun here. <laughs> Thanks.